Namo Amitabha. When we talk about Buddhism, a lot of people might have heard of Zen Buddhism, Vajrayana Buddhism, Theravada Buddhism, but not a lot of people might have heard of Pure Land Buddhism. So Pure Land Buddhism is in fact one of the most popular branch of Buddhism in the East, especially in countries like China, Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, and many other Asian countries. And what happens in Mahayana Buddhism is that a lot of uh, branches like Tibetan Buddhism, like Zen Buddhism, they all start to chant the name of Amitabha Buddha, which is the main practice of Pure Land Buddhism. We talked about before how the essence of Buddhism is not really religion, rather it's an education, an education for awakening. And all these different branches simply represent different methods Buddha has taught us. And why Pure Land Buddhism has gained so much popularity, especially in recent years. Because in the Sutra, Buddha mentioned that during Dharma decline age, which is 2000 years after Buddha has passed, Buddha recommends us to practice Amitabha recitation, which is the main practice of Pure Land Buddhism, by repeating the name of Amitabha Buddha and to seek rebirth to the Pure Land. So what this method does is that First, it's a really easy meditation method that everyone can practice and you can do it anytime and anywhere. It helps us to obtain peace of mind in the present. And also perhaps the most important thing is that it helps us to transcend the cycle of death and rebirth, the cycle of reincarnation. So what happens normally is that it doesn't matter what other practices you do, one has to become enlightened in order to transcend the cycle of reincarnation. If one cannot obtain enlightenment in one lifetime, then again one has to keep repeating this cycle of reincarnation. In the Sutra, Buddha told us we have been trapped in the cycle of reincarnation for countless lifetimes. The Pure Land Method by reciting the name of Amitabha Buddha is the only method that can help us to exit the cycle of reincarnation without first obtaining enlightenment. And if you're not sure that you can obtain enlightenment in one lifetime, then this is the path to go. So why this method can allow us to exit the cycle of reincarnation without first obtaining enlightenment? Because this method is also called the other power or two power method in that we rely on the vows of Amitabha Buddha. In the Infinite Life Sutra, Sekimoni told us that in the past life of Amitabha Buddha, before he became a Buddha, he was a Bodhisattva practicing the Bodhisattva path. And one of his vows was that if I become a Buddha, I vow to receive all sentient beings from all different worlds to gain rebirth to my pure land if they call my name uh, repeatedly at the time of their death, even 10 recitations or even one recitation if we wholeheartedly and one-heartedly believe in Amitabha Buddha, that he will come to receive us at the time of death and we are able to liberate from all sufferings from life and to gain rebirth to his pure land. So what happens is that if one stays in the cycle of reincarnation, then there will always be suffering. The suffering is never ending until one becomes enlightened and able to exit the cycle of reincarnation. But most people can't do that in one lifetime. Actually, we've been practicing for many lifetimes, so because we have not succeeded, so that's why hence we're still in the cycle of reincarnation. And Amitabha Buddha has infinite compassion and he vows to receive all sentient beings by simply calling his name. That is why we are actually relying on the power of Amitabha Buddha. And this was taught by Sikkimoni Buddha. And it's recorded in the sutras. There are three primary Pure Land sutras which describe Amitabha Buddha and his Pure Land in details, such as the Amitabha Sutra, the Infinite Life Sutra, the Contemplation Sutra. There is also one treatise, and the two other sutras were later added by uh, two masters from the larger Mahayana sutras, which a part of those mention about Amitabha Buddha 
and how a lot of bodhisattvas all seek rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure light and also talk about how we should practice this method. So I will drop the link below for people who are interested in studying the pure land sutras and it doesn't matter what backgrounds you're from or even what religion you're from this method can be practiced by anyone because Buddhism is not a religion. The essence of Buddhism is education an education for awakening. If you want to be awakened in this life, if it is really your desire to liberate from all sufferings in life, then this is the path for you. So I hope to share more about Pure Land Buddhism and its practice in the near future. Namo Amitabha Buddha.